Hey guys, Jesse from Capital Painting Company here. So we've primed and sealed all of our bare texture and now we're ready to apply a finish. I did say that I was gonna use an 18 inch roller frame. Unfortunately, we didn't have our 18 inch nap, so we're having to improvise with a nine inch roller nap. It's always good to carry extra materials with you, uh, just in case if you end up using something the nap that we had the paint color in ended up drying on us and so it's just good to be well prepared. So I'm going to show you a quick area on how to spray these ceilings and spray these walls to back roll it on. We're back rolling it on just in case if the homeowners or us have any touch ups at the end of the job that we're able to touch it up with a roller and a brush and it would be able to blend and match in. Even though it's the same color. If we were to just spray it on and try to touch it up later with a roller, it's not going to blend because the application process was different. So we follow through everything with the back roll just to make sure that when we do have touch-ups or the homeowner has touch-ups, that they're able to do it and it's going to blend in well with the wall. <clears throat> Once you've applied your paint, it's very important that you guys aren't leaving lines. This is the finished product. We've back rolled our PVA on. You really want to be careful on your heavy lines and on your finish. You don't want to end up with any blemishes, lines, or any imperfections. Um, so we've done all of our prep work to ensure that when we apply the finish, that it's going to be a nice, complete, uh, complete surface to give it a glass look appearance. And that's how you spray a ceiling. The walls are just the same. You guys want to be careful um, when you are spraying them. I like to use a three foot wand. It's got a little swivel tip here to where I can get all sorts of angles. Working in hallways, tight areas, I can really use this guy to get around lights and, and really tight corners. When it comes to spraying, you want to make sure that you're watching your fan. Your overlap wants to be carried over about a good two and a half inches. You don't want to have too much of an overlap to where it's going to leave a heavy amount of millage throughout the whole thing. And that's going to cause lines too and any and blemishes in your, in your finish. You don't want that to happen. Um, that's pretty much it on how to spray a finish on and a back roll and on. I thank you guys. Um, I'll be sure to walk you guys through the house uh, once we've finished everything and after we've demasked everything, cleaned up our floors, and that way you guys can have a really good idea on what a finished product looks like. Until next time guys, I'm Jesse with Capital Painting Company.